Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining our webinar today and we will be starting now because it's already 3 p.m. So I'd like to welcome everyone to this session and again, we are very thankful that you have joined this webinar and I will be giving you instructions as well on how to maximize your um, say or your attendance in this webinar. So um, can everyone hear me clearly and see me as well? Just to double check, could you please give me a thumbs up in our chat? If you can hear me. Thank you, Moses. Uh, it's clear on your end. So guys, just let me know if you're having like um, a technical issue, but I hope that everything is clear in terms of sound. And are you all seeing the slides as well? That's also very important to be able to see the visuals in this webinar. All right, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up emoji. Okay, crystal clear. Thank you so much for confirming. And now let us start. And by the way, um, I am recording this webinar for everyone's knowledge and for us not to be distracted by sounds or any notifications, let us all go to our lower right corner of our screen. If you see that purple, um, yes, purple shape with a white X mark in there, kindly click on, um, Yes, kindly go ahead and go to the My Settings right beside that purple mark, okay, or purple shape. You can see the settings gear there. Kindly click on that one. And as soon as you click on that one, you will see that window popping up that says My Settings. And please go to Notification Settings and make sure that all types of notifications are not checked. I repeat, not checked or unchecked because if one of them will be checked, then a lot of notifications will pop up your screen and it will distract you from the session. Okay. So is everyone able to do it? All good? All right. So let's proceed. I hope everyone is able to get that. And if you have questions, just let me know, right? So our webinar for today is um, called Emerging New Technologies in Accident or Incident Investigation. And it will be presented by Dr. Asi Sultani. She is one of the lecturers at EIT and she is also a safety professional. Later on, she will be introducing herself and she will be uh, letting you know of her other credentials as well. All right, so um, I know that the uh, these will be the most common questions later on. So um, for your copy of the slides or video recording, don't worry, we'll be releasing that. And most likely that will be available in um, two working days or two business days after this session. So since it is a Thursday today, most likely that will be available by Monday or by Tuesday. So again, those are... Um, a copy of the slides and a video recording as well. We will share that by Monday or Tuesday next week. And for your certificate of attendance, I will be sharing a link and a QR code later on for you to request that. And um, it will be sent to you in the next um, four business days, most likely. So most likely around um, Monday to Wednesday next week we will be sending your certificate of attendance. And please make sure that you request or register for that certificate of attendance because it will not be automatic. 
And our deadline to register or request for the certificate of attendance would be on Sunday evening. So please take note of that. And um, it won't be available anymore if we are not able to register or, or request for the certificate of attendance using the link or the QR code that I'll be sharing by the end of Dr. Assi's discussion, okay? Yes, the certificate is free um, for those who are asking. We don't ask for any fee for this webinar. Everything is for free, and um, but it's going to be a digital copy of a certificate only, all right? So um, let's continue. Let me give you a brief um, background about EIT first. So you know that um, we are an engineering school that is focused on engineering only from the name itself. It's Engineering Institute of Technology. And we are one of the engineering specialist um, schools around the world. And there are only very few in the world that focuses on engineering and don't. So you can really expect expertise uh, from our lecturers and from the people or who are handling the classes in here because we are really focused on in this industry. And of course, um, we have a variety of courses. We deliver um, as short as a three month duration professional certificate courses. We also have back courses like diplomas and advanced diplomas and even um, higher ed education courses like an undergraduate certificate or diploma or a graduate certificate or diploma or even um, bachelor's and master's degrees and doctor of engineering degree. And we are industry oriented as well. So our programs are designed by industry experts. So all of our lecturers and program designers are all professionals in the engineering industry. So that ensures that our students will graduate with cutting edge skills that are valued in the industry and by um, employers. And of course, we also make sure that our materials and um, our equipment are up to date with the latest technology and industry developments. And we also have world-class Australia accredited education. So aside from our local Australian government accreditations, we also have international um, accreditations or recognition. So we are some, some of our courses are accredited by Engineers Australia. If you're familiar with Engineers Australia, so we have three different accords. We have the the Dublin Accord, the Sydney Accord, and the Washington Accord. And we also have um, industry experience lecturers. So I've mentioned this earlier, as we are industry oriented, we also choose wisely our lecturers. And just like Dr. Assi here, they are all experts and experienced engineers. And um, we also have a unique delivery model. So our programs um, have a unique methodology. And um, of course, that is um, because of the blended approach that we have. So we have like webinars, we have um, inter international pool of experts, we have live lectures, and we also have our dedicated learning support officers who would be the go-to person or the go-to people of our students when they need support in anything that is related to their courses or to their studies. And we also have state of the art technology such as our um, remote laboratories and simulation software that would help our students maximize their learning and have a hands-on experience as close as possible to reality. And of course, we give high value in having hands-on workshops in all of our classes or courses. And those are all about EIT. Thank you so much for listening. And I will now hand you over to Dr. Assi and she will be introducing herself and we'll be presenting after that. Dr. Assi, this is your time now. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much, Lida. Uh, good day, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. I'm Asya Sultan, and I'm honored to be presenting today's webinar on emerging new technologies in workplace incident investigation. Uh, before we begin, I would like to extend a special thanks to Lisa, who support. Let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I hold a bachelor's degree, degree in railway engineering and a master's degree in disaster management. Additionally, I have completed a doctor in business administration. And with my academic background and professional expertise, I bring a unique perspective to this topic we will be discussing. Uh, throughout my career, I have gained uh, more than uh, 16 years of experience in the design and construction of uh, systems, and I'm also a certified uh, risk management professional, specializing uh, in identifying and mitigating risk associated with transportation, especially. I joined EIT in November 2020, where I've been actively involved in research and practical applications related to incident investigation and risk uh, management in uh, different sectors, especially in transportation. I look forward to sharing my knowledge and insights with you today, and I hope that our webinar will provide valuable information and engage discussions. Let's uh, dive into the fascinating world of workplace incident investigation and explore the role of emerging uh, technologies. Let's begin with a brief introduction. In this session, we will first establish a common understanding by defining key terms related to incident investigation yeah. and uh, understanding these terms will set a foundation for our discussion. Next, we will explore the reasons why we investigate the workplace incidents. It's very crucial. We'll delve into the impact importance of identifying the root causes of accidents and incidents to prevent their occurrence. We'll also discuss the legal and compliance aspects of incident investigation. And uh, we will see the traditional incident investigation methods often face various challenges, uh, such as limited time and resources. We will review this. And then speaking of new technologies, uh, we will uh, explore the exciting world of emerging new technologies in workplace incident investigation from AI and drone to big data analytics and smart word detection. And uh, however, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges and limitations that come with implementing new technologies. We'll discuss the, the potential obstacle and ethical consideration to ensure that um, we ensure responsible and effective use of these technologies. And uh, in conclusion part, uh, of our webinar, we will summarize the key takeaway insights uh, gained from our discussion. We'll also open the floor for a question and answer session uh, where you can ask any question or share your thoughts about this topic. Let's embark on the insightful journey of workplace incident investigation and the transformative role of emerging new technologies. First, definition of terms. What is accident, incident, and near misses? An accident is an undesired event or sequence of events causing injury, ill health, or property damage. According to uh, OSHA definition, uh, accident 
OSHA defines an accident as an unplanned, unexpected, and not purposely caused event which occurs suddenly and causes injury or loss, decreased value in resources, and increased liabilities. And near misses describe incidents where given a slight shift in time or distance, luckily uh, does not happen incident in that time, uh, but maybe it occur in the next time. An incident is an event that could lead to loss of or disruption to an organization's operation, services, or fun function. Accidents do not just happen, it's very important their cause, and the key to accident investigation is to find these kind of causes. What is uh, accident, incident, unsafe conditions, unsafe acts, and another definitions? Unsafe condition in this topic are related to unsafe equipment tools, which directly causes the accident, and unsafe actions, harmful behaviors which contributed to the accident. This can include gaps in safety training for staff. Direct causes are the result of the conditions and or behavior and the final event which produces an accident and surface causes are hazardous conditions and unsafe employee management behaviors that produce the accident. And the root causes are the underlying reasons the surface cause uh, exists. But what is accident incident investigation? Accident investigation, which is a structured process to uncover the events or sequence of events that cause to uh, and produce the potential to produce injury, death, or property damage so that the causal factors can be determined and the corrective actions can be taken to prevent the happening this kind of incidents uh, from happening in the future. But why we investigate? There are some reasons that we investigate any workplace incidents, near misses, accidents. All of them could be investigated. To locate the accident and incident cause, to determine the cause of an accident and reduce the cost, uh, publicizing the cause of an accident incident, preventing an, of recurrence of similar uh, accidents. It reveals the training needs of the company, fulfillment of a legal requirement uh, and other requirements to improve safety systems for disciplinary purposes or for data completion for promoting a culture of safety. But uh, investigation, according to OSHA, investigating work policy incidents uh, serves several important purposes. Firstly, it aims to uncover the root causes of an accident, enabling organization to take preventing measure and avoid similar accidents in the future. And also investigating are also necessary to fulfill their legal requirements, compliance with uh, OSHA standard is crucial and also conducting through uh, uh, investigation to determining if those standards have been met or not. And also uh, information is valuable for uh, insurance purposes and helps the workers compensation insurance company process claims officially and also it helps uh, by conducting investigations to organizations can improve safety 
comply with regulation, reduce costs, and support their workers' well-being. And it's a proactive approach to addressing incidents and ensuring a safer workplace environment for everyone involved. But which elements should be investigated? OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration in USA, emphasizes the importance of investigating both accidents, near misses, and uh, in the workplace. All of them could be investigated have to be investigated actually. Accidents are incidents where a worker is actually injured, while near misses are situations where a worker could have been injured if the circumstances had been slightly different. By conducting investigation, employers and also workers have the chance to identify hazards and weaknesses in their operations and safety programs. This process allows them to understand what went wrong, why it happened, and what can be investigation helps, um, uh, helps us to prevent similar incidents in the future. And also investigation helps us to create a safer work environment in our workplace. In summary, uh, investigating workplace incidents is crucial for identifying hazards, improving pro uh, safety programs, and also ensuring the well-being of employees. It allows employers and workers to learn from past incidents and take proactive steps to prevent future accidents and injuries. And here, you can see the process related to investigation. When, investigate, uh, when we investigate an incident, workplace incident, there are several important steps as follows. First of all, it's crucial to visit the scene of the incident to gather and document a witness. This may uh, involve taking photographs, collecting physical um, samples or examining the surroundings. Next, conducting interviews with individuals involved or witnesses can provide valuable insights and additional information about the incident. And once um, all evidence is collected, it's time to evaluate and through conclusions to see what are the root causes related to this incident or accident. This involves analyzing the facts and evidences to understand what happened and identify the root causes of the incident. Based on the finding, uh, a comprehensive report is written and outlining the incidents and the investigating process and recommendations for preventing similar incidents in the future. And finally, the follow-up steps. Follow-up actions are taken to ensure that the recommend, uh, recommended measures are implemented. And also, any necessary changes are made to prevent future incidents. But following these incident investigation, organizations can improve safety, learn from past incidents, and also create a safer work environment for their employees. But why emerging new technologies? Why? Because if we face some challenges here in this essay, we will review these kind of challenges. Traditional incident investigation methods face uh, various challenges that uh, hinder their effectiveness. These challenges include limited time and also resources. Uh, difficulty in gathering evidence and data and 
evaluating evidence to draw conclusions and developing appropriate approach and recommendation. Additionally, following, uh, following up uh, on incidents can be challenging also. To overcome these obstacles, it's crucial to embarrass um, new technologies like AI, drones, big data analytics, and smart word detection. They offer uh, promising solutions in incident investigation. This technology enables uh, data collection, analyzing them, the next step of investigation process, and also interpretation uh, in communication part, especially in following uh, in follow up step part leading to more accurate conclusions and recommendations. They also facilitate effective follow-up procedures, ensuring that incidents are thoroughly addressed and preventative measures are implemented appropriately. By embracing these new technologies, we can enhance the efficiency and also effectiveness of incident investigation and ultimately promoting a safe, fair work environment, our final goal. But what kind of new technologies do you use in your workplace? Please type in the chat box. Are you familiar with new technologies? Do you use them in your workplace? Please mention your answer in chat box. What kind of new technologies do you use in your work? Safety banners. Thank you, Lou. PP. Protection person. Drone. Thank you, Michael. Safety signs. Yeah. Yes, a smart viewers like a smart watches. Uh, we will talk about them in the next slides, PP, CCTV. Toolbox talk, we are implementing an iPad to do safety checks. That would be great. It helps you to gather information, share all of your information, analyzing your data. Okay, we will review the next slide. In the next slide, we see what is this kind of new technologies. Absolutely, we don't have time to introduce all of the new technologies. We just mentioned some uh, the important parts of them, as well as email safety sharing. That would be great. It helps us to share your data in your workplace. Safety timeout. Okay. Thank you for your great answer. It shows us that uh, you are in the right line. What is emerging new technologies? Safety is a crucial in safeguarding lives and assets, especially in industries like aviation, oil and gas, some kind of uh, this tech uh, and construction parts, transportation, steel production, and the mining industry. With rapid technology, uh, technological advancements, we are witnessing the emergence of groundbreaking technologies. However, it's important to acknowledge that there are potential threats that we must address. Ambiguous threats presented challenges as they lack clear causes and a straightforward, for example, response. And uh, for example, it's very important that 
using new technology helps us to clear all the trees and facing ambiguous trees that are the trees that the reason is uh, is not uh, obvious for us. Ambiguous trees differ from trees with obvious causes for which their response is clear. New technologies could help us to face especially these kind of trees in our workplace safety. But what kind of advanced uh, new technologies we can use them? There are some of new technologies that we could use in um, our workplace to uh, increase and improve um, safety program, safety culture in our work. In today's rapid, uh, rapidly evolving world, emerging technologies are transforming the way we approach the workplace safety. Let's uh, take a quick look at some of these kind of technologies. AI. AI or artificial intelligence enables computers to perform. AI or artificial intelligence enables computers to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, that require more resources. It can help in incident investigation by analyzing data, identifying patterns, and also predicting potential risks. Augmented reality and virtual reality provide immersive experience that can be utilized for safety training also. They create realistic simulations to educate workers and, uh, and professionals um, and potential hazards and proper safety protocols and also integrating building information modeling, BIM, and with safety practices, improve communication and coordination, allowing for better planning and risk assessments during constructing projects. And also a smart word detection involves variable devices that monitor vital signs and environmental conditions in real time. These devices provide early warnings and help prevent accidents. Sight sensors, as such as uh, Promex detection devices, enhance worker safety by alerting them when they are in close to hazardous situation, hazardous area, or moving equipment. And the uh, Stay Safe apps provide workers with instant access to safety information, reporting tools, and also emergency notification, improving communication especially, and response in critical situation. We will talk about uh, BIM and these new technologies in the next slides. Here we just introduced them. Drones offers a bird's eye view of worksite, enabling efficient uh, inspections, monitoring, and documentation of potential safety risks. Lastly, nanotechnology involves the use of tiny particles to improve material property including safety features uh, such as enhanced protective gear or improved uh, wearable um, smart wearable uh, devices uh, it improves construction materials also this emerging technology holds a tremendous potential to enhance workplace safety, our goal, and streamline incident investigation and create a safer working environment for everyone involved. But what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence uh, uh, is, a phase, uh, is a fascinating field that has been evolving over the years. 
in simple terms, AI refers to um, uh, refers to any science and engineering behind the creating intelligent machines, particularly smart computer programs. It involves developing technologies um, that can mimic or understand human intelligence. Although AI is not limited to methods that strictly um, imitate uh, biological processes. According to Jay McCarthy, a prominent figure in AI research, provided a concise definition in 2004. He described AI as the study. Uh, it is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. It is related to the similar test or using computer to un understand human intelligence. But AI does not have to confine itself to methods that are biologically observable. As we explore the role of AI in workplace incident investigation in the next slide, we will discover how this technology can contribute to more accurate data analysis, predictive analytics, and risk assessment. AI-powered system also can um, assist in identifying pattern, trends, and potential hazards enabling proactive measures for preventing workplace incidents. Let's delve deeper into the exciting world of AI and its application in workplace incident investigation in the next slide. The artificial intelligence applications. Incorporating AI into workplace incident investigation brings numerous advantages, making uh, the process more effective and reliable. One of the key benefits uh, is, it, uh, is its ability to enhance incident reporting and data analysis. By leveraging AI algorithms, large volumes of incidence data can be processed and analyzed quickly, enabling investigators to identify crucial insights and patterns. So it helps us in both parts of investigation uh, steps, in gathering data and also analyzing them. Another valuable application of AI is predictive analytics and risk assessments. AI algorithms can analyze historical incidence data and other relevant factors to predict future risk and identifying potential areas of concerns. This proactive approach helps organizations uh, to take preventative measures and implement uh, targeted safety interventions. Additionally, uh, AI can play a vital role in incident scenario reconstruction and visualization by utilizing advanced technologies like, for example, 3D modeling and virtual reality, investigators can uh, recreate incident scenes and gain a deeper understanding of the events. This enables better communication and collaboration among stakeholders, facilitating more accurate incident investigations. However, it's important to note that AI should be reviewed as the tool that supports human investigators rather than replaces them. It's very important uh, to observe them. Human expertise uh, and judgment are still crucial in interpreting results, making critical decisions, and also considering the ethical and legal aspects of incident investigation. The integration of AI and human intelligence can lead to more robust and 
comprehensive workplace incident investigations. Drones. Drones uh, drone technology, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, uh, has revolutionized our workplace incident investigations with its remarkable capabilities. Drones are flying machines that control remotely equipped with advanced cameras, sensors, and special tools. They offer a range of benefits in various scenarios. Uh, one of the key advantages of drone is their ability to collect aerial data. And because they can capture high resolution images, videos, and other data from above, providing a comprehensive view of the incident scene. This aerial perspective helps uh, to investigate better, and investigators gain valuable insights and gather more evidence uh, in more effectively way. And when we able to collect more accurate data and pieces of evidences. In, it helps us to find more root causes of the investigation. There is also um, there is also enhanced uh, situational awareness by providing real-time visualizations of the incident area. This enables quick decision-making and improved coordination among response teams. Uh, in scenarios like um, search and rescue operation, also drones can definitely cover large areas, locate missing individuals, and guide rescue efforts. So we could enhance our workplace safety culture. Moreover, these uh, drones enable rapid response, uh, enables rapid response and documentation. They can quickly deploy to incident scenes, allowing investigators to assess the situation promptly and start documenting the evidence. This speed and efficiency lead to faster incident resolution and reduce downtime. In terms of safety, also drones can uh, access hazardous or hard reach areas without risking human lives. They can be deployed in situations where it may be uh, dangerous for investigators to enter to the scene of the um, incidents or accidents such as unstable structures or contaminated environments. Additional uh, drones offer cost-effective and time-saving advantages. They eliminate the need for costly equipment and resources such as helicopters or specialized uh, climbing teams. Drones are also agile and can cover vast areas effect efficiency, saving uh, time and also effort in incident investigation. And as you know, time in is gold in any incidents, accidents, especially in, resp in response steps. Overall, drone technologically has revolutionized workplace incident investigation provide valuable capabilities that enhance data collection and the situational awareness response times and safety while reducing cost and safety saving time. Uh, till now, is everything fine? Please show me a smile, uh, smiley face or thumbs up in the chat box.
Thank you for your answers. We will review these options also. Uh, the use of drones to improve workplace safety. Reviewed all of these permits, monitor con construction procedures, disaster response, survey power lines, provide instance feedback, observe traffic patterns, manage layer of structure maintenance. Uh, they help us uh, to improve the safety culture. Big data analytics. In simple terms, big data refers to large and diverse sets of information that are rapidly generated and require um, require specialized tools and techniques to analyze them. Uh, it uh, encompasses three key aspects as volume, uh, that known as three with volume, velocity, and variety. And also, the emergence of big data has had a, a profound impact on various fields, including accident investigation. In the realm of safety science, there are significant opportunities to har um, harness the power of big data to improve incident investigation. One advantage is the ability to collect data um, storage them and analyze of large scale incident data. In the collecting data steps of investigation. By analyzing big data, researchers can also identify trends and patterns that helps in developing preventative measures, understand the, the underlying causes, underlying causes, it means the root causes of the uh, um, accident, identifying the hazards and issues, timely uh, warning to prevent accidents or mitigate their impact. Also, uh, integrating various data sources is another advantage. It's another advantage. Uh, it helps us integrating various data sources is another advantage that offered by big data and um, by combining data from different systems and sources. And uh, in this way, investigators can gain a comprehensive understanding of incidents and cover the correlation and also drive a meaning full insights to the incidents. Furthermore, the use of uh, predictive analytics uh, is made possible by big data by leveraging advanced analytic techniques. It becomes feasible to anticipate potential incidents, identify high-risk scenarios, and take proactive measures to prevent them even before they happen, take some actions. In summer, big data present opportunities for accident investigation by enabling them to collect, storage, and analysis uh, of large scale incident data, identifying patterns and trends for preventative measures facilitating real-time monitoring and early warning systems, integrating various data sources for comprehensive analysis, and also applying predictive analytics for proactive incident prevention. For example, 
Laser scanning technology plays a cru crucial role in identifying fall hazards and enhancing safety in construction. By utilizing laser scan, safety managers can effectively monitor construction sites and gather valuable information for a safety process. The process begins by collecting cones, put a point cloud data using laser scanning technology. This data is then transferred into a building information model, BIM, uh, as uh, depicted in this figure, uh, by converting the data in a 3D uh, BIM model, critical hazard points and the construction size can be identified and also compared with the rules. It's very important that during the time we have one part related to uh, rules. Here the rules are OSHA, for example. And the laser scan data can be in, uh, imported into software such as Revit, which allows for the creation of a visual model. This model helps safety managers identify any um, failures in our system between the design and the actual construction process, enabling them to propose solutions to mitigate identify hazards. And the laser scanning technology enables safety managers to accurately assess fall hazards and improve safety measures in the construction process. It for, provides a valuable tool for monitoring and identifying potential risks, ensuring a safer work environment. And as you know, in um, for more dynamic complex systems, that today we face with this kind of systems like uh, oil and gas industry. It's needed that we analyze the clusters of data, more data, the volume of data. And uh, it's impossible to just uh, use the uh, human resources it's very helpful to use the BIM model to collect all of the data related to that dynamic complex system. And also the, the, then after the storage them, analyze them to find the failure in our system, to find any gaps between uh, different parts in our system it helps us to take some proactive measures in our systems. What is uh, another new technology that helps us to enhance safety measures is the smart variable detection. They helps us to have the real-time monitoring of vital signs and environmental conditions to get early warning systems of immediate response to hazardous situation and incident data collection and documentation, and also its integration with communication and reporting systems, and also training and behavior modification. Another uh, new technology is Internet of Things. The Internet of Things has revolutionized workplace incident investigation by leveraging advanced technologies uh, to enhance safety and efficiency. Here are some key points to consider. At the first time, it helps us to uh, data collection and monitoring. Um, for example, IoT devices equipped with sensors collect and transmit real-time data in various parameters such as temperature, humidity, uh, and equipment status. The real-time monitoring and early detection, incident notification and response, 
um, IoT devices can send automatic alerts and notification to relevant personnel when incidents or abnormal conditions are detected, data integration, and also preventative maintenance and risk assessment. Here are we can you, you we can see in this fig, uh, figure it illustrated the uh, V2X communication architecture overview. Um, and in this field uh, of transportation, significant advancements have been made in vehicle communication technologies to enhance the traffic safety and efficiency. This kind of technologies enable vehicles to uh, everything V2X communication, connecting vehicles with various elements in their environments. Digital evidence collection. Digital evidence uh, plays a crucial role in gathering and analyzing information. Digital evidence refers to data or information stored or transmitted electronically, which can be used as evidence in investigations process. The importance of digital evidence lies uh, in its ability to aid in various aspects of incident investigation. It helps in prevent uh, preservation uh, of the evidence by ensuring that relevant data is collected and protected from tampering or loss maybe in the future. And also, uh, it uh, digital evidence assists in identification of responsible parts and also collaboration and information sharing uh, are facilitated through digital evidence. Investigation can share and exchange information more efficiently in this way. Digital evidence supports analysis and decision making process. Advanced tools and te uh, techniques allow investigators to extract meaningful insights from large volumes of data, aiding in the identifying the patterns, trends, and contributing factors. Lastly, digital uh, evidence plays a significant role in a legal processing and compliance. It can be presented as evidence in court supporting claims uh, or defenses and also ensuring compliance with relevant laws and regulations. Automatic and robotic. It also helps us to improve safety in our workplace by data collection and documentation, but scene examination and evidence collection, one of the steps of investigation, remote monitoring and inspection, and data analysis and patterns recognition, simulation and reconstruction, and safety enhancement. Another new technology, but um, enhance incident reporting. How we could enhance reporting in our workplace? Uh, till now, is everything fine? Please show me a smiley face or thumbs up. Is everything is okay? Okay. Enhanced uh, incident reporting, it's very important. How we could enhance incident reporting? Enhanced incident reporting and the digit, uh, digitalization of incident reporting process has revolution in, in the, in the in recent decade, and it uh, revolutionized the way incidents are reported. 
documented and communicated. It's very important that we just not emphasize this to document and report it. It's very important to communicate it in the workplace by leveraging, for example, mobile applications, user friend interfaces, and real time reporting capabilities. And organizations using these ways can streamline incident reporting, improve data accuracy, and enhance communication. Um, and the next point is about data visualization and reconstruction, VR. A visual representation of incident scene using technologies such as 3D modeling and virtual reality, VR. It also helps us to gather more information, have 3D modeling of the scene of the area and improve communication. It helps us to uh, improve the quality of information that we gather. It also helps us to use them in training process of the workers, the specialists, and other parts. And also real-time monitoring and alerts, we talk about it. It's about IoT, we could use them to have the devices for real-time procedures. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Okay. But what is the challenge at last? What is the challenges and related to this part, the challenges and limitations. Challenges and limitations, uh, as well as ethical and privacy concerns are important considerations when implementing new technologies in workplace incident investigation. While this kind of technologies have numerous benefits, absolutely, it's essential to address the following challenges and ethical consideration. Integration challenges and compliance issues. Integrating new technologies into existing systems and workflows can be challenging. Compatibility, uh, uh, compatibility issues may arise when uh, attempting to connect different technologies or when integrating them with our system. The next um, the next point is why new technologies can greatly enhance incident investigation process. It's important to maintain a balance between technology and also human judgment. It's very important. Another main point is about ethical concerns. The use of new technology in incident investigation raises ethical concerns that need to carefully address. For example, the use of AI algorithms and predictive analytics may introduce biases or uh, in some part of system. Uh, it must be observed. Another main point is impact on workforce and job displacement. It's very important that we concern all of this issue, have a plan for it, and trust and transparency. It's very important. We have to observe them, check them all the time. We just not uh, um, see the result of them and also uh, see that it's OK. We have to observe them, and it's very important to concern the legal and regulatory consideration during our investigation. And our conclusions related to these webinars are, we have the transfer workplace incident investigation. And it's very important to embrace new technologies for improved outcomes in our safety culture. Revolution, uh, revolution in incident investigation. 
it's very important that we concern this issue, the power of emerging technologies in workplace safety and also advancing in incident investigation, how new technologies are shaping the future of the workplace investigation, how new technologies are shaping the future of the workplace safety. And also it's very important leveraging new technologies for effective investigation and integrating new technologies in workplace incident investigation for optimal results, for the results that um, accurate. It's very important that we have a plan for it. It's not just to uh, imply uh, any kind of new technologies in our workplace. And thank you for your concern. Do you have any question or concern about this issue? All right. Thank Hi. you so much, Dr. Asi. Um, everyone, we will have a question and answer um, session yeah. in after a few slides. So for now, let me go ahead and showcase our upcoming courses at EIT, so that would be, we have professional certificate courses, and um, that is for your um, professional competencies, and that is available all throughout the year. We also have diploma and advanced diploma courses, which are available throughout the year. We still have our um, undergraduate and bachelor, bachelor of science degree courses that are available for the 24th of July. But our graduate and graduate certificates and master of engineering degrees are available on the 2nd of January next year, 2024. We also have our doctor of engineering and on campus bachelor's, master's and doctor of engineering programs, which are available. Um, the higher education ones, uh, which are on campus, are available on the 31st of July, the online doctor of engineering course will be available on the 24th of July. Okay, so if you'd like to know more about our courses, you can go to our website, www.eit.edu.au slash schedule, and you will see the updated schedule of courses in there. All right. And we also have upcoming webinars. If you can go to our um, www.eit.edu.au slash previous dash EIT dash webinars. You can see our um, previous webinars in there. And um, if you can just go to the webinars part of our website, um, you can also see some upcoming webinars if there are. But for now, um, we kind of paused that. And we also have our sister company who offers uh, short courses, online um, courses that are related to um, in what engineering, engineering professionals uh, would like to learn to upskill themselves or cross skill. So you can also view our um, conferences uh, at eit.edu.au slash news events. And or if you can just go to our website and look at the events part, that's also good if you don't like to follow you know, URLs like that. And um, I'll go ahead and post this link in our chat box um, in a bit. And if you'd like to scan that QR code as well, you can also do so. And that is um, how you can register or request for our certificate of attendance for this webinar. And um, please note that our last day of um, submitting that request should be on Sunday, a particular, particularly a Sunday evening. All right. And of course, um, you can go ahead and ask questions if you have questions that are not yet answered by Dr. Assi. So you can go ahead now. Thank you, Dr. Assi. Thank you, Lisa, for supporting this webinar.
so we have someone okay so you'd like me to show the qr code again so i'll show the qr code again but feel free to put in the chat whatever you'd like to ask dr assi and she'd be more than happy to answer your questions And let me go ahead and put the link now. Hold on, I'm just um, generating the link on my end. And I will go ahead and put it in the chat. Give me a moment here, just typing in my message. All right, so I have sent you the link to request your webinar in the chat box. I'll be repeating this after um, a few minutes so that everyone can see it and um, I believe nobody has a question. I don't see um, any question. Yes, guys, um, your certificates will be sent uh, through mail. The link is here in our chat box, or you can also uh, copy the link that you can see in your screen or scan the QR code. That's fine. All right. So, yep, yeah, the link's there now in the chat box. Let me just move this slide to the last one. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for attending. Um, we are all very happy that we have this number of participants. We have 77 attendees as of now. And thank you so much for um, always participating in these events that we offer. And um, you can see from your screen that we have our website there. We also have our head office address. We have our phone numbers, whether you are in Australia or outside of the country. We also have our emails. So if you have any concerns, if there are links that are not working or anything at all related to webinars, you can send it to webinars at eit.edu.au. And um, of course, if you'd like to see our courses, you can go to www.eit.au sorry, .edu.au slash schedule for all of our scheduled courses all throughout the year. And that would be it. Dr. Assi, do you have anything to say before we end this session? I just want to say it's honored uh, that you have you all here in today's webinar. Thank you for listening uh, to our webinar. And we have some related courses for um, higher education certificates that Lisa introduces that course. Have a nice day and bye. And thank you, Lisa, for supporting this webinar also. Thank you, Dr. Assi, for such um, a very worthwhile learning session today. Thank you, and have a nice day, everyone. Thank you. Um, for James, um, you're asking if it's possible to obtain previous certificate. Um, yes, it depends on the scenario if you have um, if you have registered in that link before, so just send an email to webinars at eit.edu.au for your concerns.